Hello and welcome to this Business Central video. Today I want to talk about creating a new company and importing data into that new company. So this is another video in the series I've been making called Make the Most of Your Business Central Trial. So we've been through creating the trial um, and then doing lots of different setup and then the last video was how posting groups work. So you can get into grips with all the wonderful functionality, but all within the confines of the Cronus company. Um, so now I want to go ahead and try and create my own company and import um, my own data. And I've got some configuration packages now to do this, and I'll, I'll leave a link in the uh, thing of how you can download them. So the first thing starts, if we nip into Business Central, the first thing we want to do is to go into companies and create our new company. So we're going to create a new company and we click next and we say we want to create it with no data. And then straight away here, now we get our clue about what we've said previously in that the trial actually lasts forever. But as soon as you want to try it out for yourself on your own company data, then you're going to get, you're going to, it's going to be 30 days that you're going to get to to try it out and that you can actually extend that but initially it's for the 30 days so if i type in here and call it my test company and then click next and then click next and then click finish and that's what it'll do is go ahead and create the company so while that's doing that we'll just have a think about how we can import data into business central so there's a couple of ways that you can do it you can use something called assisted setup and that's one of the standard features so if you were to search in business central and type assisted setup there's lots of different wizards that you can follow about how to um, set up things like how to set up that for example how to set up emails how to set up different services that are available and one of them is how to migrate your data and how to bring your data in and so that's one method that you can use uh, another method which I tend to use is what's called a configuration package. Now, a, a configuration package is a method that you can import data into Business Central. You can also export data out of Business Central. So if you have a Business Central system at the moment, you can export all your data uh, just by creating a configuration package, and then you can change something and import it all back in. And if it finds that record in Business Central, it'll just modify it. If it's not there, it'll insert it. So here we go now so now we've got our company and i can go into that company i went to my test company and it's basically saying here now you've got 30 days again um, and then you'll have to subscribe but it also says here somewhere explore the benefits in your own company data if you just do, do, do. Um, somewhere it's going to say you'll be able to keep using when the trial ends you can keep using the Cronus company so that's what I mentioned before e even if you, when your trial ends and you don't subscribe you still get access to the Cronus company you just won't be able to access this new company that you just set up so I'm going to accept the terms and conditions and get started like that and now it's going to go ahead and initialize my company so that's just that is just um, mentioning what we've already what we already learned previously in that your um, your Cronus is forever. Your your trial lasts forever, even though it's kind of some things tend to make it suggest that it only lasts thirty days when it doesn't actually last forever. So here I am. I'm in my test company. It's completely blank. I've got no chart of accounts. I've got no customers. I've got no vendors, and you get the drift. It's completely blank. So like I was saying in the intro, there. If I go into assisted setup. Here's all the wonderful wizards that Microsoft provide us with to be able to set up um, Business Central by ourselves. Um, and one of them is, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, it's somewhere on here. If I was, so it's fine, I'll migrate maybe. Yeah, migrate business data. And there I can go next. Uh, I want to import from Excel and I can download a template. And what that's actually doing under the hood is it's actually, creating configuration packages it's just one excel sheet with a series of tabs that you can put your data in and this is where the noise that you learn on posting groups really comes in handy uh, for you to be able to set up the posting groups and input your chart of accounts and get everything set up because that is really the key 
how everything holds together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use some, some configuration packages that I use to set up my company. So if I go into configuration, well, what I'm going to show you first, if I go into configuration worksheet, which is not something I'm going to go into too much, you can see this is totally blank. And a worksheet is a way that we use to create companies, it kind of creates like a checklist. If I go into configuration packages and go import a package, I'm going to import what you can do with configuration packages. Is you can create, and this is what we do. It's probably a little bit more for this is that you can create a package per like module. So if I want to just do an initial setup of a company, I tend to use this package here. And what this does when it's imported is it gets me the foundation. So it imports something that I know I'm going to need in every single implementation of Business Central. For example, I'm going to need some standard payment terms some payment methods. I'm going to need a number series. I'm going to need all these things. So if I have a look at that configuration package, here it is. Here's what it's getting me the, like some foundations. It's going to put all the general journal templates down, number series, like I mentioned. Now, if I nip into the worksheet, you can see what it's done to the worksheet as well, because created this kind of out of scope of this, but you can see it's created me this bait. I can import these individually i can just apply the data from that one i can actually collaborate with people because i can make certain people responsible say if i wanted Dell to do the countries and regions and you can come in here and see and you can put statuses and all sorts a bit out of the scope of this the thing to take away is that configuration package that i've just imported is gonna if we have a look at that go into here it's got all the tables that i need like a payment terms countries and if we look in here, the package records within that payment term, it's going to import those five payment terms. It's going to import all these countries and regions. So what I've done is I have actually created this package that I can then drop to quickly create a new company, the foundations every single time. So if I apply that, and what that goes is it, it goes and does all that setup for me straight away. So that's something that I've planned in the past. And like I say, I'll make this configuration package available as well. Um, in the comments, you'll be able to see that. So that's imported all that. Now, if I wanted to create one from scratch, let's just say now I wanted to import my customers, I can go new and I can type customers. Okay, I want to do customers. Um, and I'm going to go into here. I'm going to search customer table. There it is. Blah, de blah, I'll just say no to that time in. And then these are all the fields that I can import into. So I click into there and I go, right, OK. Uh, I want to clear everything. I'm going to edit the list and I just want to import the name. I, want, I just want to get all my addresses in of all my customers to start off because you can build up from here. So if I say I'm just going to do that, come out of there. And now what I can do is I can export that to Excel, creates a spreadsheet. I can then pop it in my customers and click import. Now that was just a very quick way of how to do this, but I've actually got a package as well, which does more setup. So if I go import package, and again, I'll make this available, I've got a finance setup one. So I import that in. And what this is doing, it's pulling in, I've created this package. It's added to my config worksheet because of the way I created it initially. So I've got, and it's got all these tables in this one. It's got my general ledger setup. It's got some posting setup. It's got a default chart of accounts. It's got some categories, some bank accounts, because basically this is like a demo company, which I can then, so I'll import all this, and then I might take some bits out and import my own chart of accounts. So if I show you what I mean by that, this is the config package. It's got a chart of accounts in here. And there they all are. It's like a default chart of accounts I use. Um, and it's got some batches, some general ledger batches that I might need for opening balances. It's got posting groups, it's got all sorts. And these posting groups all link uh, to create a posting setup. Going back to that posting, um, the posting setup video I did, which shows how the general posting setup works. Um, so what I can do now is I can, if I was, I can just say, right, okay, but I don't want that default uh, that general ledger chart of accounts, I can just go, right, okay, I'm going to export that, that to Excel. It'll create me the blank sheet. I can populate with my own chart of accounts and import it and apply it rather than using this standard one. 
but I'm just going to apply this so I can get a company. So if I go apply, so this is like creating me a whole blank company with actual a chart of accounts that I can use um, and everything like that. So I can just get going with Business Central if this was a company that didn't have their own chart of accounts and just wanted total guidance on how to set up all the system. So here we go now. And if I come all the way back out, you can see now I've got a chart of accounts all set up, all ready to go. My general posting setups all good to go. There we go. It's got all my posting groups pointing to my income codes, my costs of goods sold accounts, inventory adjustments, all everything's all set up. So now I think, right, okay, I want some customers. And I'll go import a package. And I've got sales and purchase set up next. So I'll go like that. That's also added to my configuration worksheet because I could drop all these on without applying them because all it does is when you it, it pulls the data in with the package, I can then choose to apply it. I can delete it. I can export it. Um, I can change it basically. So if I go into this sales and purchase setup here, I've got customers posting groups again. I've got sales and setup. But what I've done here for these customers, if I drill down on the package record, what it does is it, it imports like five demo customers just so that, and then you can actually overtype them with your own customer names and then add your own in. So if I go to here, I'm just going to apply this full package. Now what I've got is I've got customers. I could even use the edit in Excel feature now to pull them out, modify them, add, and then in that editing Excel sheet, I could add my own customers and publish. And that would publish all my customers back in if you wanted to use these packages to build your own company. Um, but there we, have, there we have it. We've imported the initial setup. We've got some finance setup with a full chart of accounts. Uh, all the posting setups been set up and we've got customers and vendors. And I've also got a package for, let's just say, we wanted to do some warehousing. We wanted to use some items. If I go back to my, oops, a daisy. I managed to click a button that I shouldn't have done. Back to my configuration packages, import. You can see here that I've got one for inventory setup. And there we go. Now I've got loads of inventory setup. I've got. So I've got one location. I've got five dummy items that I can edit in Excel and change. I've got all my posting all matching up to that one chart of accounts that I imported earlier. So if I, I can actually, just to show you, I can actually apply it from this level as well. And there we go. We've got, I go back to here. I've now got lots of items. And like I say, I can go into each individual one, edit it. I could use edit in Excel. So basically, this has just created me a really quick way for me to spin up a company. Now, if you, if you was to use those package files, you can now go, right, okay, that's great, but I want to use my own chart of accounts now. So you could come into here, you could go edit in Excel, remove those chart of accounts, put your own chart of accounts in and publish, and that bring them all in using your chart of accounts because editing in Excel actually allows you to delete data as well on mass. So... Finally, what you then want to do is props use bring in some opening balances. So you could go into and have a configuration package for that. Appreciate I'm kind of doing a very whistle stop tour because there is much more into this, but I wanted to get a video out there to be able to show you how to create your own company, although it is a little bit more set up as you can appreciate. It's a bit more in depth and I'm trying to cover it quite quickly. But here you can see that for this demo company, I've got some opening balances here. Basically, I've got my full chart of accounts ready. That puts it all into this, all into this, all into a journal called Opening Balance GL. So if I apply that, this will be the last thing that I'll show. And if I now go into a general journal, and if I pick up, I've got all these batches that I created earlier from my config pack. General as opening balances, all my GL accounts are in there, ready to put my opening balances on. All I have to do is go edit in Excel, 
bring it out or I can manually type them in, click post and that'll do my opening balances. So in just that short time, using these pre-configured configuration packages, I've created a company, put all the initial setup down, which will be used for any implementation uh, business central in general anyway. I then put down some initial finance setup, which included a chart of accounts, a, a demo chart of accounts, which you could overwrite if you like yourself, if you wanted to, but it set up the general posting setup as well and the VAT posting setup. I then imported customers, vendors on a separate package, then items, and then an opening balance like template, all in that short period of time, ready to just get all this system up and running in a jiffy, really. So that's how you can use configuration packages to to set up a company it was a real whistle stop tour because i wanted to do wanted to get this video out there but there is a little bit more to it but like i say i'll make those config packages available if you want to then follow along uh, on my uh, on my website so yeah i'm just trying to think if there's anything else you could have applied in them configuration packages they contained lots of tables like i showed you can just create one or two tables if you wanted to just like customers vendors and export them uh, i can even apply a table at a time so what i was doing i was if i go back into my configuration package for example when i brought in my basic finance setup i could have just chosen right okay i only want to apply the currency one so instead of applying it at the header level i could have gone apply data for that one right okay i want to apply this for the this table okay i just want the setup okay apply that one right what i'm going to do with the gl account i'm going to export that to excel and put my own chart of accounts in um so yeah i hope you the you find the video useful appreciate it very fast um so yeah um yeah i hope you find it this is probably the last one in the series but yeah i hope you find it useful and i'll see you next time thanks very much Bye bye